Hey folks. <clears throat> so the other day, ow, the other month, some time ago anyway, Susie told me that the Cub Cadet mower that we use out at the cabin won't run right. It just doesn't run right. Sounds like it's missing. It's a Kohler two-cylinder engine. And uh, it only runs when I have the spark plug wire hooked up to one of the spark plugs. As soon as I hook the other spark plug up, it acts like the timing is off. You know, it acts like it's fighting against the other cylinder. So, so I put the mower on a back burner for quite a while. And then, I think it was yesterday, I think so. Susie had to go to work and uh, I stayed home. It was a Saturday and I'm watching some YouTube videos, just really enjoying my day. And I get a text from Susie, she said, So after contemplating my answer for several long seconds, I said, <laughs> What lawnmower? At which time she said, So after getting the message, I decided I better do something other than watch YouTube videos. So I went out to the garage and I replied with this message. Okay, babe, it's in the garage. I just rolled it in. Um, so I'm gonna get started on it, okay? We'll see where we can go from here. Love you, babe. So this video is not about tractors. It's not about cutting down trees. It's not about repairing an RV. The interconnect relay driver is just really represented by this little box. It doesn't show any discrete components, but yet when you look down at this little square here, it's not about repairing a dryer. Now, before we go anywhere else, this is pretty cool too. Let me change the light a little bit so we can see what's going on right in there. So what this is really about is I figured out what was wrong with the Kohler engine on our Cub Cadet. It wasn't a timing issue, it wasn't a bad coil pack, it wasn't a bad spark plug or bad wiring. It wasn't that the flywheel had shifted around the shaft. Um, I pulled the valve cover off of the problematic cylinder head and what I found in there was that the rocker arm was no longer operating the valve. It had somehow turned about 30 degrees. So I was getting no exhaust release and uh, was causing a lot of back pressure and problems. So seemed like a pretty simple fix, except that I didn't really have a way to compress the spring. You'll, you'll see here in the little video. Um, so all this is about is how I made a valve spring compressor. That's it. Hey folks, so I have here a Kohler Twin V um, gasoline engine. This is off of my, a Cub Cadet um, lawnmower. And um, the problem I was having with this is that it would start, but it would only run on one cylinder. Uh, this cylinder here would fire, but uh, it seemed like it was out of time, which is kind of hard to understand how this could be out of time because the timing on this is controlled by a fixed magnet on the flywheel and two fixed coils uh, on the cylinder heads. So when I pulled the valve cover off, I found that this rocker arm, instead of being centered 
over the valve um, was actually, or the valve shaft was actually twisted here about 30 degrees or so, 25 degrees, 20 degrees, something like that. So it wasn't actually operating the valve. This was a problem. It actually wasn't able to release the exhaust pressure. And so it was, it was actually working against the other cylinder, making it, uh, making it a real rough running engine. So, um, I found out that one of the keepers, uh, one of these guys right here. So this keeper is responsible for holding, there are two of these, for holding the spring in a compressed state about the shaft. There's actually a little groove right in here that the keeper rides in. And maybe I can show that to you here a little bit. So you can see right here, there's a groove that this keeper will actually ride in like that. Okay, that's where the keeper goes. And there are two halves of this keeper. And one half had come off and was just floating around down here. So I was able to identify the problem, but now the problem I have is that I don't have a way to compress the spring in order to put the keepers in the right place. And normally this is done with a spring compression tool, which I don't have. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did it. What I did is I took one of the valve cover screws, put it in here. This is where the rocker arm bolt goes. And then I took the parts for the spring and put them in place. I also rotated I also rotated the shaft here so that it would keep this valve in this upright position. Now I don't have a way to keep it in the all the way upright position, so we're going to see how well this works. But then I put the spring in place and then the uh, the compression plate. So I've got the keepers close by here. The other thing I did is I took a, you know, and this is just a ruler basically out of a, a square like this. I took this part out. I drilled, um, I don't know, this is a half inch hole, I think about an inch and a quarter down from the end. And then I put a about a quarter of an inch diameter uh, groove at the end. And what's supposed to happen here is this will go under the head of that bolt and allow me now to, to compress this spring down. So now you can see that I've got the spring compressing and at the same time, what I'll do is tighten this bolt got to be really careful because if you let go of this, things are going to go flying. So make sure you have a good positive um, uh, gr grasp on this. So then I put one keeper in and just took a little screwdriver and kind of tapped it down in there. There we go. Grab the other keeper, put it in on the other side. put it down in place and now I can let up on this and you can see the compression spring or the uh, valve spring is now being retained by the keepers. So can you see that? Right in there. So let me show this to you from another angle. So there we go, folks. That was the way I 
compress the spring. Now I can remove this bolt and put the rocker back rocker arm back in its place, replace the valve cover, and I should be good to go. I don't know what caused that keeper to fly out in the first place. That's kind of got my curiosity aroused, but we'll try it again, see what happens. All right, folks, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you all are having a great day. Today is um, August something, I don't know, maybe the 15th or the 16th, I don't know what it is, but uh, life is great. I'm just taking time out to fix a lawnmower here. Um, you know, I had to pull the engine out of that uh, Cub Cadet right there, and this is my uh, proxy workshop. No tree work today, folks, but uh, just sharing a part of my life with you. Y'all have a great time. Be happy, love one another, be kind to one another, be strong, be courageous, don't let anybody fool you. Life is an awesome thing. The world will be a great place if we will take charge of our own lives love other people, be kind to other people, treat others the way we would like to be treated. Let's do it, folks. Let's make a difference. From Dover, we're out.